Today I'm looking at remixing a classic house tune um, which has some very simplified piano chords in it and I'm going to use Scalar to find some more complex chords uh, to use in my remix. So here is some MIDI of the piano, the original piano part. So essentially there's just three chords. If I now set Scalar into detect mode and press start and play those three chords, then it tells me that the three chords, the three basic chords used throughout that track are E flat minor, G flat major and D flat major. And it's saying it's in the scale that it's detected, it's saying the most likely scale is E flat minor, which sounds like this. So if I play the chords again and listen to the scale again, that sounds right to me. Sounds like that it is probably E flat minor, possibly E flat Dorian. As you see, as I click on each scale, the notes of the scale and the chords of the scale um, vary a tiny bit. Here's the chords within e, e flat Dorian mode. Whereas E flat minor. So for now, I think I'll go with E flat minor. Now what I want to do is use the chord builder to find some more interesting variations on each chord. We've got three basic chords up here, E flat minor, G flat major, and D flat major. So down here in the chord builder, if I click on E flat minor, the first chord of the scale, and click chord variation, now I'm hearing variations on the first chord of the scale. And I actually like that. It has a kind of um, nice sort of modern house sound. So I'm going to select all three chords as variations in my chord builder, my progression builder. Uh, the next chord was G flat major. So here I select G flat major and look at some of the variations available there. Again, I like those first three with the suspended second going to the suspended fourth. And then our last chord that was originally played was D flat major. So I select that again in the notes of the scale in our chord builder. If we just listen through to what we have, then maybe I'll see what would be a good addition at the end. I think I might just go with the suspended second and the sus4. Okay, and now to get a feel for the chords as I've selected, I'm going to bind MIDI, which means that each chord will be attached to a note in the keyboard here. Um, I like the sound of that, except what I'm noticing is that the note which changes there in those three, the third is sitting inside the other two notes and I'd like it to stick out more. And a way to do that is to change the inversion so that the changing note becomes the top note of the chord. So here I am changing the inversion of the first three chords. I might put that up an octave. And then again, I'll go the next inversion down. Again, I'll push that up another octave. Put those last chords up the octave as well. 
I could just record this, but I want the versatility of being able to adjust the chords in my door. So that seems pretty interesting for me. I think that would work well in the remix. So now I'm going to take those, um, export the MIDI, which means I just click on the plus sign and simply drag it to my VST instrument like that. So now I've cut those chords into something like the rhythm that I was playing when the MIDI was bound and it sounds a bit like this. Which sounds pretty good. Next thing I would do is check it against the bass line of the track and make sure it's working against the bass line. That's great. That seems to be working for me. So now what I'm going to do is I've um, pulled up a sound on one of my soft synths uh, and I'm going to see how that sounds on a sort of plucky synth part. That's sounding good to me now, so I might just loop it and see how it sits within the whole track. So now I'm happy with my chord set. I've tested against the beats and the bass and it sounds pretty great. I am going to save that as a user chord set. So if we come over here to Scalar, go down to the Save as Chord Set button, and name that TMA and click OK. If we come up across here to the category list, you can see we have songs, artist song sets, and in the user category, we now have TMA, which is the one we just made. 